Hello loves, this is your first time. If you're returning, thank you so much. My name is My Love for Lux, and I decided to do a non-eye candy video, minus the background of handbags and fragrances. And just want to just have a sit down and talk of why I decided to start my YouTube channel. Again, primarily discussing handbags and from time to time fragrances. And what better day than November 3rd, right? Not only am I going to do this video, but I'm going to do a quick edit and upload it because I was supposed to already have a video uploaded today. Without further ado, first click the like and subscribe button. I know what you're thinking. Girl, we haven't even checked out the video yet. Don't worry, just go down and click it. And if you don't like it, you can unclick it. All right, so if you're interested in my background story, then please stay tuned. Okay, what started my love for fashion? Well, for handbags and fashion. I started off actually in private school up until around my eighth grade year. I did. I took one year off and I went to public school and decided to go back to private school so I could graduate. And then my high school years, I went to, okay, public school. And while I was there, I got reacquainted with my girlfriend slash cousin who just absolutely, she just, she's a, she was a clothes and fashion fanatic. And so she was definitely a bad influence. And another, I don't want to say bad influence, but another really strong influencer for my love of fashion was a mutual girlfriend of ours who I actually had become acquainted to first before being reacquainted with her. We attended the same church and between her, her older sister and her mom, they just had a really strong sense of church fashion that I just absolutely, I fell in love with. And then there was another young lady who was the same age as my girlfriend sister and her fashion when I tell you her fashion was so on point I actually ended up getting the same seamstress that did her prom dress to do my prom dress because I just I loved her fashion so those influences definitely hands down are my foundation for my love as it is today and I'm trying to get too emotional because the girlfriend from church uh who had a sister and a mom she's no longer here she's passed away about four years ago but like i said she was a mutual friend of me and my girlfriend slash cousin so like i said those are the culprits in the foundation of my fashion ironically most people would assume it's my mother because my mom has always loved clothes but no those were the ones and primarily because when i transitioned from parochial school to public school my body had gone through some changes. I lost weight, puberty. So I had no clothes, like literally no clothes. So again, those ladies, definitely, they helped me out between my church fashion and just regular school stuff. Okay, so fast forward to where I am in my adult years. And what I noticed going back during school time and even true today a lot of people were very just. I noticed, uh, which I didn't notice in private school, people were very judgmental based off of what you wore and the type of clothing and accessories that you were attracted to, which I found really, really strange. And again, like I said, again, I noticed that in my adulthood. Fast forward to my later years, as I started getting on YouTube. Primarily because I needed an outlet. I'm one that if I know a sale or just anything that's popping, I am like, I'm about to tell you, 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 you. I'm, I'm telling everybody because I want all of us, you know, to be able to partake in this and this, you know, whatever it is. And so what you two, looking at the ladies who love fashion just in general, that was a great outlet for for me however as i was looking at all these videos looking at beautiful women and men that are primarily in their 20s and their 30s and by this time i'm in my mid 40s and i'm like where is the representation of your season your middle-aged women and i noticed it really it wasn't a lot of representation it is now but 10 years ago it it was slim so about, I guess about what, a few years ago? Yeah, but you're doing a pandemic. I said, you know what, let me start posting my stuff. Because again, there was just, 
there weren't a lot of people also in my immediate circle uh, for me to really just get that out, you know, for someone to understand why on earth are you spending X amount of dollars for this handbag or these shoes or whatever. And it is funny because it takes me back to back in the day when, you know, I was primarily primarily carrying Coach Newton Burke and Michael Kors. And I noticed the women today, back then, 25, 30 years ago, they used to look at you kind of sideways when you were carrying that stuff. But now since it's become less exclusive and the prices are a lot more friendlier in these recent years, you know, now it's like, you know, it's all, it's, I guess, normalized. And that brings me to the situation my girlfriend occurred. She had a, a, an acquaintance that primarily carried contemporary handbags. And my girlfriend, she is a fashion kind of sort. Definitely a shoe, a shoe. Her shoe game is crazy, but just her fashion in general. And she's one that she's a girl's girl. She she wants everyone to win. I just I, she's amazing. And so when this acquaintance of hers, when she acquired her first luxury handbag, my girlfriend is like, "Oh heck yeah, you know that's awesome." And the lady assumed that my girlfriend was being shady, and I'm like. How on earth could you think that of her? And so when she was telling me this story, I was like, it, it took me back to my younger years. It took me back to my adulthood years where I noticed I would share certain stuff or certain people would say, oh, you know, I like this, I like that. And it just reminded me how people can be, it can start off being an admiration. Then it goes to envy. And then if it's not checked, it goes to jealousy and haterade. And I was telling her, the same thing her husband had told her. And that was, this is someone who look at your accomplishments throughout your life. Being my girlfriend, she's retired military. And so she's being from, and then she had a second career that she retired from uh, with the government. So just with her accomplishments professionally, and then my girlfriend just being just a very, just an attractive, sexy woman, you know, with a beautiful family, a beautiful home, just all of these accolades. And her light is just, and I think with all of those accolades, again, all those accolades that my girlfriend has, this woman, her admiration, it, her slip show. Let me just say that. So, yeah, just a long story short, that things like that definitely, for me, I wanted to be an outlet. And I wanted to be a representation for the seasoned age ladies like myself. To get on here and just you know, and embrace and enjoy this community and not be judged. Because I notice people, I don't, you know, people would judge you for the most simplistic things. And so long story short, that's really my primary reason for getting on here. Talking about these crazy handbags, spending X amount of dollars for this stuff. Lord Jesus, what are we doing? But you know, but it's fun. You know, it's something I enjoy. And I love the people that I have met along this way between um, a lady from Boston. She goes by Lady B now on YouTube. 50 and Fierce Plus. She's amazing. Uh, Lavishly Chi Chi. I love I watch her videos. Is it Sheree? I think it's Sheree, but I had to put her name up. She's definitely she's one of the first ones I started watching. And it's just so, it is just so many uh, phenomenal women. Of course, the old school ones mixed for all. Jerusha, Jerusha Couture. I mean, it's just the list goes on and on and on. But yeah, this is it's a community that I love. I'm able to embrace and just talk my craziness or why I buy what I buy. And so my message to anyone, hopefully those who've watched my videos, hopefully I have inspired someone or just like, you know what? Oh my gosh, I can relate. And, you know, in this crazy first world problems, addictions that we share. And I just encourage anyone to stay true to who you are. And if someone has a problem with you, it's not your duty to adjust yourself to accommodate them and their insecurities. And 
if I've learned nothing else, I've definitely, I have learned to embrace myself, embrace what I love, embrace who I am. And I understand that I am, I'm just, I'm not everyone's cup of tea and I'm okay with that. If you see anyone that is an inspiration to you, whether it be something just off YouTube or just whatever, don't allow that admiration and inspiration to turn into something that is not positive. Yes, that's, that's, that's the best. That's the best way to say it. Uh, it's crazy. I was talking to, I was talking to a family member, and they were saying how there was someone that they didn't care for because oh, I don't like the way she speaks, and it kind of it prompted me, and I'm like, mm. and I'm looking like, okay, this person here, it's one thing to say, you know what, I don't agree with A, B, and C, but it's like, okay, you don't like the way she speaks. Could it be because this person, where my, again, like my girlfriend with this with this lady here, she's done some things with herself professionally, personally, that kind of make you feel a little insecure or inferior, and you really can't come up and you really can't justify or I accept what your issue is, and so what you do is you come up with something really crazy. So, mm, whatever. Okay. All right, so enough rambling. Like I just wanted to just, do, I'm gonna have to edit the heck out of this video, but I did want to get on here real quick and just kind of just say who I am, why I started, why I started this channel, and hopefully you enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay positive. Take care. Bye.